Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome to Mama Schmoo's Homeschool Reviews. In today's video, I'm gonna go more further into detail as far as our language arts curriculum and just share with you guys book by book with what we'll be using. I thought it would be interesting because I know I did a huge first grade curriculum choices video not too long ago. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below and on the iCard for you. But this is like more of an in detail look by subject. I asked people on Instagram what they like to look at and I got like an even amount of people saying they like it by subject and then other people like the whole entire thing so for people that didn't watch the whole entire overview of the books and it was just too overwhelming for them this video is for you guys if you guys already watched the other video and you don't want to watch this that is okay as well I'm just doing this for um, the the response that I got from my Instagram so these are some of the readers that I will have my daughter read and she actually has already read a Wendy Spring Day and the Sunflower Summer and these books were given to me by Wendy Dunham and I discovered her by Instagram which is so powerful nowadays and since I have a channel where I like to do reviews I always do some research before I ask people to you know show their books because I am interested in some books and I thought these were so precious and so she sent them to me and I was so gracious that she did I just thought these would be such a great book to just share with you guys here on my YouTube channel and I will have all of the books linked down below. You can buy them on Amazon. But it's just, um, I just wanted to show you and share with you guys like my appreciation for the artwork in this book. It is so precious. It's like adorable watercolor paintings and all these little animals. The raccoon, skunk, and fox, rabbit, beaver, and mouse, and a mole. And they're all planting seeds for sunflowers for the summer and it is such a good book now it is a christian book at the very end there is a little scripture here that goes along with the book which is romans 8 25 if we look forward to having something we don't have yet we must wait patiently and confidently and they were waiting for that sunflower to blossom and so this is a book about god gives us friends when we need to wait and it's talking about patience which is really good my daughter loves it and this cute little um, bookmark that she gave me and so my daughter has read this one and then also we read this for spring a windy spring day god gives us friends when we're afraid and I just love the like details of, like I said, the drawings, and it's written so sweetly. This is a little tiny chapter book, so my daughter was like, oh my gosh, I'm reading a chapter book. She was excited about it. And then this is definitely one for um, talking about when you're afraid, and they he was afraid of the wind, so his friend came along and helped him. They made a kite and says, when I'm afraid, I will put my trust in you, Psalm 56.3. And she'll be sending me the one for fall with apple pie and then one for the winter time. I'm not sure what that one is. And then I will be doing a giveaway for these, so stay tuned for that. She would like to do a giveaway, so I will have that information in one of my videos, so stay tuned for that. Now, I am also having her read the level one reader with The Good and the Beautiful, and it this is just the whole reason why I went with The Good and the Beautiful is because... I just like the reader and I thought the workbook that they give is very well thought out and very detailed and I and I needed a language arts program because I was doing the reading lessons and we're kind of graduated from that we went halfway through and now she's starting to read so I needed this and it was very affordable so I had them printed out and once the child completes the 24 lessons in the language arts program they should read five to eight pages out loud for this book and here is the table of contents I am not going to do like an in-depth um, of this because you guys know good and the beautiful is all over YouTube but if you want to pause it and look at the table of contents but this is like the book that they read at the beginning which is very much like my style I like the vintage books so there's a day at the farm all these cute little readers which get a lot harder at the end so it'll be definitely a a challenge but I think she'll be doing wonderful because she's reading a lot and I think she's gonna love this reader and that's the reason why I went with the good and the beautiful it's affordable and it is just exactly what I needed at this time and I got this little bear friend this is from the 60s I got it at the library um, sale for 25 cents and this is just a super cute little vintage little bear friends um, book that was like super old that someone probably had in their garage and I had to get it because I have this one that she has not read yet so this is a reader that I want her to read and this one has all of the treasuries of um, little bear little bear's friend and little bear's visit 
And I think, yeah, there's like three stories in this one. So the artwork is adorable and it's such a cute little character, the little bear. I really love like forest friends. So these little forest animals are adorable to me. And then this is another book that she actually has read through several times. And this is just one that she could read on her own very easily, which is Dick and Jane. And then um, this is something I got from a consignment sale. But as you can tell, there's like several stories in here and they're very easy for her to read. And she reads them out loud while I'm making dinner. And I love these little pictures of these little kids. It's so cute. So those are the main readers that we're going to be using for um, this year coming up. Like I said, she's read a lot of them. So I'm going to be doing like these little ones, like the Scholastic Readers, the DK books. These are some that I got from like family members, Legos. They love Legos. This is another Dick and Jane. And then the Lego City Fire in the Forest, A Day in the Life of Firefighter. She loves boy stuff. She likes trucks and cars and Legos. And that's just what my daughter likes to read. And, and I think she really enjoys the vintage books that I picked out. So all of these and then a lot of things from the library. And then um, with the good and the beautiful, they give you the phonics cards that have not opened up yet and the miniature, um, the miniature mini books. So here is the language arts and literature level one course book and I am not gonna go into too much detail you guys because I know that you guys have seen this a lot on YouTube and um, this is just level one at a glance phonics and reading grammar usage and punctuation literature spelling and writing and then art so the daily checklist you will be having them use the reader after they finish lesson 24 practice spelling words for five ten minutes phonics cards five minutes sight word ladder five minutes and complete the course book and then you do memorizations for poetry and you could do whatever you want to do you are the teacher you could you could teach them through this book exactly the way they have it laid out or you can try it a little bit differently skip a few things if your kids are not into memorizing that's okay you don't have to do everything um this is the table of contents so if you want to pause the video you can look at it there are um 91 lessons and this talks about the course so if you want to pause it you can read what the course is all about now, I was just going to point out to you um, the things that I like. I just thought the phonics cards, I thought it was adorable how they have um, color in the animal when you've mastered some of the phonics cards and color in these animals when you master the sight words. And I love that you can like check off a little mastered um, these words. It's just really cool. I like to check things off and then I know my daughter is going to like to check things off because we're kind of like that. Um, the spelling words too, you can have them check off or you can have a little tiny sticker they could stick on there. I don't know if it would fit. Um, and then they fill in and color that once they've mastered it. I just love that concept. I think it's really cool. And I love again the little characters that they have. It's super cool. And then the poetry is really simple and fun. Like um, I do read poetry to her in the morning time with my son. So I don't know how much I'll be doing on that. But I'm sure I'll read a few because you can never have enough poetry in your life and then so it's super simple I I love the fact that they have animals in here and of course like everyone says there's beautiful artwork and I love that and these little games that they have I just think it's really cool I'll show you guys like the middle of the book and what they'll be learning but I just really enjoy the pictures like everybody says I love the simplicity of it I love how it's all laid out for you and I need a language arts program for my daughter and she's on to the next level and uh, this boy will take as slow as possible. We won't go so fast. If I think that it's something that is easy for her, we'll go through it fast. But I think that this will be a challenge for her. And I think we're going to have fun. And I'm really going to enjoy it. So I just think that this is a really good little language arts program that is very inexpensive and worthy of your time to research if you want to look into it yourself. So I'm going to go quickly into our Spanish. These are flashcards that my daughter has had since she is two years old and we have gone through these so many times. She's memorized them and she has forgotten some and I'll show you what the, they look like. It's just a very, very simple like Spanish cards that my husband does with her. I was doing them with her for a long, long time and they give you a decent amount of, oh, 104 cards. So we go through these and she absolutely loved it when she was two years old and now we're having to redo it again because she's forgotten a lot of the Spanish cards. This is the Spanish um, book with all the rooms where you can flip out the little 
pictures and it gives you the words in Spanish and the English words. So I show this to you guys in the curriculum choices. Then I'm gonna be doing this. This is by Carson Delosa, I think. And I just thought it was great. They have songs and chants to learn a lot of the Spanish. They have a lot of great first grader things to do. My family, they color pictures, they, they match up the words. They have crossword puzzles, um, animals and food, and they have coloring and they go over the days of the month or days of the week. So I think what I might do is just make copies of this for my daughter, and then I go over it. Actually, I went over it with my son and my daughter one of the mornings, and we just orally did it together, and we talked out loud, and we counted in Spanish, and these are very, very good. So I will make some of these copied, and then she could work on those. So this will probably be something that we do once a week. I'm going to say I would love to do it more than once a week, but I know I'll probably just do it once a week and then maybe the flashcards once a week. And then I'm going to do the vocabulary journal with her very lightly and just write down a word that she thought that she didn't know. We looked up online. We'll write it down. She can make a sentence and then find a synonym and then make the picture. And this will be just very random when we're reading a book. I know a lot of times she doesn't know the word. She'll ask me, so I'll have her like write it in here. And then this is the Lakeshore Draw and Write Journal which um, I showed you guys, she actually wrote a little copy from the Dick and Jane book. The they could um, draw a picture and then write and then have maybe spelling words on this side that she can do her spelling for the good and the beautiful on here. So that will work out great. And then I'm almost done, you guys. I'm going to be trying to read, well, we're, we finished Dr. Doolittle and the adventure, Dolphin Adventure. Now we're reading Here's a Penny. It's very, very cute. We just read the first chapter. And then, per requested, my son and my daughter want to read um, On the Banks of Plum Great. Creek. They love it. And then, I want to read Charlotte's Web. I thought it would be great. I love the movie, and I know this book is so great. They want to also read By the Shores of Silver Lake, so we'll see if we're going to read that one. And then around Christmas time, I was thinking the winter special, The Boxcar Children. This is special number one I found at like a used curriculum sale, so this will be fun. Um, so we have the other Boxcar Children set, so we'll see what we, what we will be into reading. I let the kids really pick it out, so those are the books that we will try to read in the next, I don't know, until I guess Christmas. So those are the chapter books. And then let me share with you guys really quickly the poetry books, Joyful Noise. This is where we talk, they're talking about bugs and they have two readers for this. Poem of the Week, Kindergarten to Second Grade. I got this from a teacher, but it's very cool because it is themed by month and there's little activities that go with it. And I, I really love it a lot. The Llama Who Had No Pajama, which is a book that I got from Bookshark, and I love this. My kids love it. There's a lot of poetry about animals and insects. It's really fun. And then this one's adorable, The Birthday Bus, and it's talking about your, your kid turning six and um, wanting a new bike and some peppermint sticks, but if someone decided to give me a bus, I'd accept it at once without making a fuss, and they love this one. So I'm going to read this for my daughter when she turns six in November. She and my son love that one. Anything about birthdays, they love. Okay, so where the sidewalk ends, we're going to be reading that. These are the books we've been reading in the morning time, probably a little bit more of these um, this year. The New Kid on the Block, they love this one. And A Child's Garden of Verses is a new one that I got. It's a Charlotte Mason um, poetry book that I was told to get. I think it was on Ambleside. So I'm excited about this one. I got it for like a dollar at a used bookstore. Clap and Count Action Rhymes um, for the Jewish New Year. And my mom got this at a thrift store. So they talk about shofars. Here's the art. They talk about dreidels, the dreidel game. Um, all of the holidays. And then, of course, my favorite book of nature poetry, and I want to get the animal one soon, but they're very expensive on Amazon. I got this for free. I used curriculum sale last year, so these are just absolutely beautiful poems and photography. Now, some of the poetry is a little over my kids' heads. I still read it to them, but they enjoy the photography, and we talk about it. So even if you don't read the pages in the book, it's a really good way to do art appreciation because you're looking at photography and that's people's art that they worked very hard on and my kids really enjoy it. So those are the poetry books that we'll be doing. Here are the chapter books that we'll be doing. Some of the Spanish. 
and the flashcards and the good and the beautiful and then I forgot the Rory's story cubes I want to incorporate maybe once a week and just intentionally do it with my daughter. I'd love to have her dictate more stories to me and using her imagination this year and come up with some really cool stories that we could like save and have memories of and maybe just get like a notebook from the Dollar Tree and do that. So that is it you guys. It's been a long video. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope this helps you out when you're picking your um, language arts curriculum for this year and it is a lot but this will be trickled throughout the year and I'm taking everything very slowly and um, this is one of my favorite favorite parts of homeschooling is all of the language arts and the read out louds and the poetry and our fun special morning times so if you guys want to know how our morning time is I did a video on that so I will link it down below if you want to check that out and how I kind of like go about our day and how we start our day in the morning I will see you guys in my next video if you are not subscribed and you have been watching my videos please subscribe Subscribe to join this community on here. I would love to have you guys join. I'll see you soon. Bye